The Truth Bike's back! All truth, all bike. Bell for yes, honk for no. If it doesn't make them stronger, it'll ruin their relationships forever. Every time we think we're just out of the hot seat, something new happens and the truth bike just had to come out on a day like this when we just came back from Casa. Emotions still kind of high from last night. Hot sauce. Do you think you're falling for Jess? <laughs> yeah, definitely, I can't lie. It's written all over my face. All the boys know I haven't shut up since I went to Casa and more, so absolutely. <laughs> oh, exciting, so exciting. Happy and things are just looking great at the moment for me and her. Uh, do you think Tina will potentially be the first girlfriend on Mitchell's list? <laughs> potentially, yes. I haven't felt like I do about Tina ever before, so I'm in un uncharted waters at the moment. So, um, yeah, potentially, yeah. Aww. From where I stand now, like, I'm, I'm just excited to see where everything goes and how it naturally unfolds. Were there any other boys besides Ryan that you were interested in? Yes, at the start. Like, I went in thinking that I would connect with either my top two were Chris or Mitch. Do you want to die? <laughs> <laughs> Turn that bike around and keep riding. <laughs> Do you see any red flags with Ryan? No. No, oh, that's no. a yes. <laughs> a truth comes out! Truth bike, truth bike! Common mistake. <laughs> Sometimes it's best not to read into things too much. Sometimes a mistake is a mistake. Lexi? Do you think Ryan is a loyal person? That's hard. She was very, very hesitant. <laughs> I think her hesitation really answered it for us. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, as in all that I know. Oh, I don't know, that's hard. I'd say yes from, like, everything that he's told me, I feel like. Eh, wrong. <laughs> not me! Sorry. <laughs> it's not very nice of Lexi to try to embarrass someone up in front of everyone just because they're hurt, they want to hurt someone else, and to pick on someone for not being genuine or being a hypocrite or whatnot when, you know, mow your own back lawn before you comment on your neighbours. Oh my fucking god, that was literally. <laughs> the hot bike. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. You mad, bro? <laughs> you mad? <laughs> you completely led me on, no offense, but told me one thing and then 24 hours later hooked up with another girl. So, yes, I'm mad, but I do forgive you. Thank you. He just called me bro. Like, God, he infuriates me sometimes. Do you feel like Ryan and Taylor's connection is genuine? <laughs> um... Yeah. Yes, I do. I feel like Taylor is genuine. I don't know about Ryan anymore. Yeah, it was eye rolls. Um, I don't know about Ryan anymore because he said the exact same stuff to me as he did to her, so I'm not sure about him. Yeah, it's obviously difficult. Like, I've got Taylor there. I'm trying to, like, you know, obviously show her I'm genuine and I have all the upright most intentions and whatnot. And someone taking small stabs in the dark at you isn't pleasant just because they're hurt and they want to see you hurt or embarrassed up there. Do you feel like you've led Ben on and played it safe and just coupled up with him to stay in the villa? <laughs> No, I didn't lead Ben on. I told him from the start. Ben, I literally told you I want to be your friend and I'm not romantically interested in you. I'm sorry, but that's how it is. And I wanted to stay in the villa to pursue something because I did see potential in you. So I did not lead you on at all. He was acting like he was shocked and he was acting like I was leading him on, which I was not. If you'd come in, from the start, would Lexi have been your decision if you were an OG? 100%. I um, didn't think I was a chance when I come in because her and Ryan seemed so strong and obviously it wasn't as strong as what I thought. Ryan. Would you have rather left than have stayed on a friendship basis knowing how this has played out? 
um, probably yes. I would have happily gone home rather than stay in a friendship basis. I'm here for love. I'm not here to fucking take part, I'm here to take over. Respect. <laughs> Were you confident up until the recoupling that you and Lexi could have something? Um, no, I felt like I should, it was a bit of a cop out. She just wanted to stay in the villa at my expense, to be honest. Ben and Lexi have both done a complete 360 on each other, which was really revealed on the truth bike. And I feel uncomfortable watching it play out because I feel like while those two say that they're friends, it just doesn't feel like it. All right, let's go. <laughs> See these flames? It's because it's the hot seat. <laughs> Ryan leapt up onto that truth bike. He knew what he was in for. He saw Mitch sweating last time and I think he was keen to get it out of the way. Would you change the way you went about this whole situation with Lexi and Taylor? Yeah, definitely, if I had the opportunity to, but how can you be put in two different places at once? Can't help it. No, like, I mean more so, like, sometimes a guy will not, like, kiss anyone or anything because they want to, like, talk to their partner first or, like, anything like how that. How am like, I meant to talk to Lexi without making a decision over there when the decision is made before I get back? Yeah, it, that I think she means sense. if you were to couple up with them before acting on anything physical, just going off the connection, bringing them back in, having the conversation, then acting on it physically. Yeah, that was more like so. that's more so a way you could have went about. Like there's a hundred ways you could have went about it. I'm there's just saying, would you change that? There's definitely hundred different ways to go about it, but obviously yeah. I went my way. And yeah. Obviously and you not everyone that, like sees you eye to eye, it? but we're here for our own perfect connection. And you know, yeah. I seen it, so I started running with it. Like, yeah. yeah, I got grilled up there. Got grilled a second time, third time. You know, it is what it is. If a bomb was to walk in tonight, would you consider getting to know her? No, like I've definitely oh, done my fair dash here and there. In the two days that I did get to talk to um, Taylor, I did ask so many questions. We lined up so, so greatly. And ever since I've been here, I haven't been able to take my eyes off her. She's absolutely stunning. So, yeah. So I actually liked watching him up on the truth bike, even though it would have been a bit painful for him. I feel like his answers were all really good and like they reassured me. Do you think you led me on? Well, I didn't. I didn't intentionally lead you on. I did want to make things work, but like obviously there was a small issues in the back of my mind. The whole immaturity and age thing was a massive thing. Like, sometimes it hurts to be the honest person. Sometimes it hurts to be the bigger man. <laughs> my ass is sore. <laughs> Do you think you and Taylor could win Love Island 2021? What? Win. Win. Fuck yeah, I'm a winner, baby. <laughs> <laughs> It's the way in which you carry yourself, the way in which you respond shows who you are as a person and that you will not stoop down to anyone's level. You will always be true in yourself.